So I hope everyone can hear me and see me. So if you can hear me or see me, just uh, type in yes and uh, we can begin. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, so okay, guys, uh, welcome to the show, uh, the live career show on uh, brought to you by Brain Pundits. And uh, today we're here for a very, very special uh, seminar, webinar uh, show on uh, career opportunities in the humanities stream and the art stream. With me joining today again is Mr. Gaurav Saneja. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Gaurav. Oh. Okay, so the thing is that uh, uh, I have to unmute him. Just allow me. So now, Gaurav, um, you can uh, unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself to the crowd. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi. Very okay. good evening to everyone. Please do let us know. Are we audible and visible to everyone? Yes. Pop in yes in the chat box. Rajesh is giving uh -huh. up a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Rajesh, for letting us know that we are visible and audible. That's wonderful. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, with the uh, PPT. And before that, we'll have a two minute uh, promo video, just to give you uh, some information about Brain Pundits organization about us. Uh, so that you guys know that, uh, you know, we are the experts that uh, you guys seek. So I'll just share the PPT right now. And uh, after the video, we will begin the actual seminar. Okay. So it's going to be a very, very exciting uh, seminar. Oh, yes. Uh, we're sharing wonderful things with you guys. Okay. One more thing to do. Yes, that's that's coming. Okay. So we'll begin right now. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Bikram. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Bikram. Hi, guys. I'm Bikram. Hi, guys. I'm Bikram. Hi, guys. I am Bikram. And I am from Brain Pundits. Are you thinking of starting your career? Or are you thinking of planning a change in one? Then you must know yourself, your personality, your aptitude, interests, your motivation, and your IQ. And then start looking at what things you like doing, what you're good at, what the world needs, and what you can be paid for. And then, finally, you would find true purpose in life. Ikigai, it's a Japanese concept that helps attain true happiness and satisfaction in one's life. That's a feeling. That's a feeling that used to come when we were younger. And now, little by little, it is slowing down. It's going away. I mean, the story of brain pundits is intertwined with mine. Ever since I was a boy, I had an aim that was IIT J. And But during my 12th, I couldn't get through. I dropped a year. I tried again. I still couldn't get through and then I burnt out and got into a depressive phase. I started reading about social sciences, about psychology and then I got out of my depression with this conviction that I am not the only one, I am not alone, I am not the only person who is witnessing this feeling of aimlessness but others are as well. Later after my college, we started Brain Pundits. And from there, there was no looking back. We aim to help everyone by using psychology and psychological tools to identify your inner talents and help you learn and grow. We analyze your mind on five big parameters and 60 smaller ones and tell you your 20 most compatible careers and courses. We are the most detailed career test in India as we are measuring over 700 data points with over 35 different question types, measuring over 60 different qualities. We use AI to pick out special clips for you from over a thousand videos of uh, YouTube celebrities and experts uh, in the field and area of personality development and cognitive science so that you learn from them and to achieve your goals. So uh, that was the little promo. Uh, Welcome to the show, those who are joining us late. And uh, great, great Venice Day today. <laughs> it, was and... not, it was not just a promo. It was the complete curtain raiser. <laughs> 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 so I encourage everyone to remain seated for the show. It's a one-hour show. And uh, grab your bottle water. Okay. And uh, if you need water, you can drink at that time. 
now is the time to get up from the seats or you know go to the washroom or do some things you want to because it's going to be a very very nice tight packed uh, you know information journey guys take 2 2 2 3 minutes break take your bio break get a water bottle take a cup of coffee or tea if you need get a pen and paper because there would be a lot of activities that would be doing right so we will be doing a kind of a brainstorming session as well okay so take a 2 minutes break take a bio break do not leave uh, in between because it would leave the entire flow of the session yeah until then uh, gaurav i want to know where these guys are from where are uh, our you know darshak where are they from where are the, uh, so, know, so, or, so audience a request to all please do let us know your location from which location you are and also are you a parent or are you a student so it would help, but it would help us to deliver the session accordingly yes if there are more students will deliver it that way more parents will deliver it the other way so please, please do please do comment on to the chat box and do let us know about yourself so asmi okay. is a student we have a parent from ahmedabad mr shah is there we have arjuna the student we have aditi she is from mumbai that's great student from class have, 10 wow but now very nice okay ji Arnav Rathod is there. Okay, Mehak is also a student from Delhi. Mehak, you can reply for everyone so that everyone can see your chats. Rajesh ji is uh, from Mumbai. Ah, okay, so Arya Kulkarni, maybe your side of the speakers are not working well. Maybe you can disconnect and connect again. Okay, Sanjana from Patna. Career counselor from Navi Mumbai. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, Navi Mumbai. That's near Mumbai. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> okay. Also, rest of you, if you may wish to switch on your video so that we all can see each other and interact each other, because we would yes. be keeping a, a interactive live interactive session towards mm-hmm. the end of the show. So yes, do we part, want to do, do part a, questions? Yes, keep your questions till the end of the session. We will have a five ten minute question round. Okay, mark your questions, important ones. and uh, we can answer your answer the questions at the end of the session <laughs> but there will be an interactive session overall we will be keep asking you questions and you can answer them in the chat that's how we want to keep it so that it uh, remains live and fresh okay and you will not get a chance to take a short nap as well because uh, <laughs> we would keep on asking the questions yeah. and the topic that we have touched upon today is the humanities and the top careers in it yeah so uh, i think we can start with the show and uh, without further ado let's go with the agenda so here it is so first we want to introduce humanities itself arts ka career what is it all about what is the depth scope and breadth of it the myths behind these uh, careers uh, these streams some people think they are inferior you know some things they are you know don't don't reveal, don't, don't reveal any secret uh, rather okay. uh, we can ask the audience can you share one myth about humanities yeah which you feel is uh, obviously uh, incorrect something that is incorrect about humanities anything which is incorrect is considered to be a myth okay so someone is saying i am from pochinki yeah. i don't know where pochinki is from Where, where is that location? If you can tell me, let me more detail. That would be nice. We have school counselor from Goa. Very okay. nice. Okay. okay. So any myths you can suggest? Uh, next, we are talking about you know choosing a major. This thing, major minor, the new national education policy that is being updated. It is going to have this major minor concept, in which you can have multiple. You can choose multiple subjects. Uh, and study them in your uh, bachelor's or masters thereby having a you know wide spectrum of knowledge rather than a detailed knowledge of one single topic or subject matter uh, we will talk about the important traits and uh, you know uh, qualities that are important for these careers what are the common qualities that uh, make people excel in these careers you know uh, there are uh, so many uh, awesome uh, humanities careers uh people uh, lot of professors come to mind lot of uh, you know researchers come to mind lot of economists you know sociologists all these people have you know few traits in common that allow them to you know excel at these fields we'll talk about that so uh, shweta goel i am a academic coordinator from dps patiala humanities is always seen as an option for less intelligent students 
which is according to me a myth and that if, is absolutely and, and if and if we read a little more there is uh, supanya says people say humanity is, is the easiest stream okay we will talk about is it a myth or not mm. then sahil says our relatives think if you choose arts then you are surely weak in studies mm. okay so so far on this agenda slide we are not commenting it's a myth or not but surely we will talk upon touch upon this aspect as well then, then we will finally cover the facts uh, what are the various careers that are hot that are that have the bright outlook and uh, that if you guys can pick then uh, you know uh, your career can start with a good planning and uh, you can gain uh, you know lot of experience gain lot of skills in a very short amount of time as compared to others Dr. Anu Verma is saying less scope in this field, and it's a myth. Okay, yeah, so we, we will try to touch upon the various career options, right? As you can see on the screen, exploration of various fields. So we'll try to touch upon this aspect as well and see. Let's further ahead move on. Okay, what is humanities? Okay, so we took out the Oxford Dictionary and we just pasted the definition here for you guys to know. So it is. kind of like uh, it is dealing into social sciences languages literature fine arts and you know social science so all these four they are the uh, humanities right right so if this definition we boil it down there are three points you know uh, anything that is creative in nature can be in arts anything that is related to human anthropology you know human studies social that is you know a uh, part of humanities and something that is social in nature that is in social science as soon as we say these things it completely uh, you know widens the horizon widens the depth of uh, humanities subject matter the importance uh, because logon ko lagta hai as uh, as you know people have said shweta is saying and uh, you know others are saying that uh, humanities is uh, said to be the more inferior of the streams i would disagree completely vikram is, is boiling down in my mind as well hmm. right so people are saying this is a stream for weaker students this is a stream where the job options are less this is a stream which is meant for those students those who are not intelligent enough to take science which means majority of the janta majority of people think that this majority of the people goes towards the science and technology okay so my question to all my audience is if i am taking humanities though i am not into now any school days anymore but if i would have given a chance and if i take humanities and would like to make my career into technology can you see the fusion i am taking humanities and would like to make my career in technology so will will i find any scope in it or not please do okay. let us to answer that question uh so stay tuned we have a video to that effect and uh, there is a person who we all know who will be speaking on that the idea is that uh, humanities is you know it has always been the most important subject matter in fact you know during the earlier you know uh, ancient times medieval times the kings when they were educating the royal family students uh, the royal family uh, you know uh, uh, the, the the princes and the princesses they were undergoing this classical education uh, you know processes and knowledge about uh, various philosophies about various uh, history about various people and how they behave uh, these aspects a uh, way of talking public speaking rhetoric they have always been important in you know uh, that is the definition of being educated now if and, this has always been the foundation of the education system since the ancient times gurukul system our gurukul system that's all it's all about it's about the life skills yes, yes. it's about the some of them is about the mathematics and the sciences whatever there were there at that time but majority of the portion was about humanities humanities and the arts and uh, you know uh, 
the fundamental difference between humanities and science is that in science there is a right answer and there is a wrong answer in humanities there are uh, there can be n number of answers to a particular question okay why was ashoka such a great ruler so there can be tens of answers to this question and the more answers you give the more enriching and the more uh, you yeah, know re reality based the more reality based the answer becomes because in reality there are no there is no black and white there are always shades of gray and that is the strength of humanities it has always been that to measure those you know shades of gray and those aspects that's why it is very important so there is a very big answer that's uh, written over here uh, god you mind reading this what is this thing it says a subject within the field of social science such as economics or politics mm -hmm. then it talks about this is the 1.1 i am talking i am i am reading the slide right from the bottom to up okay so mm -hmm. you all can read with me social science a scientific study of human society and social relationships which is again since the ancient times since our the ages of gurukul humanities learning concerned with human culture okay especially literature which means touching the aspects of language as well history art music and philosophy and the arts the subjects of study primarily concerned with human creativity which means a field which requires creativity right so there is a space available to fit in if i have from the humanities background and social life such as languages literature and history nice to read these oxford stated statements so like in in daily life also you will find humanities will be helping you more than the sciences i mean not in terms of application but in terms of you know dealing with other humans you're going to find, find uh, so let's move on to the now let's read the, the we have touched upon this in the previous slide but uh, why study arts and humanities in the first place so as as we are saying that uh, you know the the mark the mark of a learned person has always historically been uh, you know knowledge of the ancient literatures you know knowledge of all these uh, granths epics that are out there in the indian side it's the mahabharat the ramayan on the on the in that side it's the iliad the odyssey uh, other 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 texts uh, philosophical diatribes of these great uh, philosophers the socrates plato <clears throat> and uh, it's for people uh, who are interested keenly interested in these aspects you know so over it would like to develop my mind as an inquisitive mind a inquiring mind this is a place this is a stream if i have a thirst of knowledge right wherein i would like to learn more about my history my culture the arts the music the philosophy the literature the creativity how to create innovation right okay. humanity and like and like one or two people have mentioned that the personality development that happens because of reading so much of these arts and humanity subjects it changes your inner morals to make you a much more social and uh, you know finer person in life last point is very very important opportunity for personal development the more knowledgeable you are your domain knowledge is so perfect which gives a pure essence to your personality right and if we see in our uh, uh, indian society right the all the government jobs the high official administrative jobs evolve from humanities and arts because they are to do with the public administration public the word comes into the picture so uh, if you are like a government officer then you need to know culture of the people who you are governing uh, you need to know their uh, sentiments their emotions what they will react to under certain religious circumstances under certain aspects if you are unaware of these uh you know topics that it's it's going to be very challenging for you to do that kind of job and trust me it is a myth wherein parents think that my child must take non medical or medical full stop period 
yeah i mean yes, the sir. idea is that you take we, will on be, medi- we, will, we will be sharing database we will be sharing a data and the facts wherein the students those who are into 8 9 10 they still feel that our parents still think and and our teachers also rather rather i i would not comment upon any school but yes our school system is this if i am a good scorer automatically i will be counseled to take science stream hmm. like uh, i i agree with you on that so let's discuss more of these myths okay uh, okay so like this is uh, going to be good so 80% people they question they really don't know that uh, what major they should take when they enter college that is uh, a, a very you know objective number it several surveys have been done on this and we have found that you know majority people are uh, you know they don't know what to choose because they do, they haven't spent that much amount of life on earth and uh, humanities is something that even if you devote few lifetimes it's uh, it's still less the uh, moreover people who take the uh, various careers various you know courses in humanities or other sub- subject matter they may change them uh, and that is about 50 50 like on average every other person is going to change their graduate uh, or uh, you know uh, undergraduate uh, major programs and they we are saying that this is all right it's okay to do this it's it's actually a good idea because a lot of these skills that you learn in each of these subjects they are transferable what does that mean it means that they can be used in multiple places you study one subject you develop skills you study another subject you develop more skills in the end the game is about skills and you know employers uh, seeing those skills in you and uh, you know wanting to work with you and uh, you work with them learn from them you know this this they did if you can go back to the previous slide yes this uh, this will be backed up by a slide in the forthcoming slide wherein you would see this percentage of students where in the 80% people 80% students are not sure which major which stream they shall look forward for yeah just keep this 80% in mind this is going to come up in the future slide right now. do do a reality check if if parents are listening to me they can go into their past when they were into 10th standard how much clarity about the career path we had when we were into 10th standard and those the students those who are listening to us how many times we take decision by looking at our peers how many times we take a decision by through external forces yeah, my doctor. parents are doctors they want me to become a doctor so i am bound to take a medical as a profession right so problem is there is too much information out there and we don't know where to start which information to believe and uh, what are the facts what are the myths so that's why we're having these slides in so the over, beginning over Thank here you. our vision and mission mission is to help the students to one to find out a wider horizon right a wider horizon means the all the possibilities about various career options okay one i have figured it out this is the good career option now what is about my fitment into that career option so we are into that journey all together so we will yeah, be we will be unfolding that as well yeah it's about like betting on things so if you place multiple bets if you think that okay i can do this this and this and you place multiple bets over there there's a much more higher probability of you winning and uh, you know uh, getting the careers that you want Absolutely. rather than you just focusing on one uh, aspect one a career option and just uh, aiming for that over and over again. i mean we have had heard countless stories of these upsc aspirants earlier years they used to try on for 6 years 7 years 8 years even of you know upsc you know again and again they used to give the paper it was it's a grueling exercise and it takes the toll on the student it, it you know destroys them internally if they when they fail and if they fail. so uh, second is the fact that humanities is the inferior stream and uh, that is complete myth uh, this is uh, a chart uh, you know from hindustan times that is uh, you know saying that uh, right now 40% people they pick humanities they pick arts as their subject matter 
and engineering and uh, you know mba they have been going down as we had been talking about in the previous webinars also so humanities is at an all time high and i i can't uh, i can't blame them because uh, the importance of humanities is just you know beginning to realize uh, yes it's true that uh, a lot of these tech companies uh, they are the top companies in the world but uh, you know we are foolish to think that you know tech companies only require tech people because choosing humanity doesn't mean that i cannot join apple as an organization i cannot join google no this mm. is purely a myth even the people from humanities they are being selected in all these top organizations because if given a task to list down your dream organization i believe 90% of the people will write the technology based organizations like microsoft is my dream organization google or apple that doesn't mean that they hire only programmers or only btex or mtex it is it is a myth yeah because like uh, if you want to simply look at what would be the most uh, you know a lucrative job and the most uh, you know widespread job that would be sales and marketing any business you know a business can you know have a product it can you know uh, take a white label product it can buy a product from another company and then sell it again but it cannot have you know uh, it cannot work without a sales or marketing arm and that is purely arts and humanities and it is one of the most lucrative careers ever so it's like this myth is going on uh, there is people think that the humanities people they're they're stupid that is another myth and that is just uh, goes to show that uh, some people are so close minded they don't know about it okay third is that uh, my major will determine my career path that if i pick uh, you know if i take llb right now or if i take a bba then i can only go into business or i can only go into law or i can you know if i start studying for ca i can only be a you know a cs or a you know full fledged ca no that's not it uh, in fact you know this is uh, what is changing earlier the earlier careers uh, earlier career paths the uh, people what they used to do they used to stick to their careers for 20 years so 20 years they're going to do the same job guys do you agree to this that my major will determine my career path hmm? very very interesting question it is <laughs> so i have heard uh, you know two two people in the chat they are saying that uh, you know th they are asking their certain questions they are doing economics and uh, they want they want to know whether they should go for engineering or ba and then there's a psychology uh, you know student he wants to know whether he can go into clinical so guys we can answer these question at the end of the session so just hang on to that and ask them at the end of the session just remember to see, do that see recently we we met a government official at a very very high post right he was hmm. Uh, somewhere in punjab so while in discussion with him he said i uh, after my uh, schooling i did my mba after mba i i i thought that this is not that i meant i meant for so then he started preparing for his medical but again he dropped after first year and then he prepared for upsc and now he is a dc so that is how uh, my major will determine my career path it's a pure myth because you gain skill and yes. at the end of the day it's about gaining those skill other these myths uh, some of them are out there i'll highlight one of them here so they think that uh, you know arts humanities social sciences are not marketable majors which means that uh, it is just a good way of saying that they don't make money or uh, they're not as lucrative as some of these tech jobs or science jobs so mm. which is also wrong this is also wrong uh, the, in, in fact all uh, uh, the most highest paid jobs are the sales and marketing jobs uh, that is the fact that's how uh, the businesses they work okay so now very, very important and very interesting uh, uh, clipping it is please get yes. it so let's hear from the horse's mouth so this is uh, none other than steve jobs and he's talking about uh, tech and he's talking about humanities and he's talking about why tech needs humanities he is and founder of the biggest tech organization where yes. everyone aspires to be a part of let's hear from the horse's mouth yeah Ooh.
So I've said this before. I thought it was worth repeating. It's in Apple's DNA that technology alone is not enough. That it's technology married with liberal arts, married with the humanities, that yields us the result that makes our hearts sing. And nowhere is that more true than in these post-PC devices. And a lot of folks in this tablet market are rushing in, and they're looking at this as the next PC. The hardware and the software are done by different companies. And they're talking about speeds and feeds, just like they did with PCs. And our experience in every bone in our body says that that is not the right approach to this. That these are post-PC devices that need to be even easier to use than a PC, that need to be even more intuitive than a PC, and where the software and the hardware and the applications need to intertwine in an even more seamless way than they do on a PC. And we think we're on the right track with this. We think we have the right architecture, not just in silicon, but in the organization to build these kinds of products. And so I think we... So that was uh, him at the iPad's inauguration, and he was telling why the iPad is revolutionary. And, and it goes without saying, like you're designing a product. Who's the product for? It's for people. So if the tech is does not match the people's requirements, there is no point of the product. Why would anyone buy it? And uh, that's where the arts and the humanities people, they come in, the design people, they come in, the UI, UX, uh, the product design, and uh, all these people, they come, they shine. Do their job. These are the people who are always behind the curtain, who always lay down a strong foundation for a great architecture. Definitely. So what is the correlation between major and career opportunities? Okay, let uh, everyone, uh, let, let us, let you say this. Do you think that there is a major correlation between these uh, major and career opportunities? Or do you think that, uh, you know, uh, okay, it depends. It depends on what you do, how you plan your career journey, how you plan your study journey, uh, what career you do, what uh, courses you do first and later on. Because let us tell you, there is a scientific correlation. So, it exists. Yeah. It, it, like it's the area of discipline. And uh, what happens is there's a correlation between the skills that you learn and the career opportunities. Underlying the major. So the major is not the right career correlation. It is the skills. And that's what makes the employers want you more. And uh, so what's the best way to know your skills, to uh, know what you should do? Uh, it is knowing yourself. And knowing yourself is the first step towards that journey. Towards that journey. Uh, to a happy, fulfilling career, happy, fulfilling, satisfying life that we all pray for. Because I have a question which is coming up to my mind. Sure. Is there any particular age <clears throat> to where I have a thirst to know myself? Hmm? Or, um, or, or, or only uh, uh, school students, they do have a right to know themselves. Or even at this stage, at your age, at my age, hmm if I have a thirst to know myself. So is there any right age? Well, statistically speaking, a lot of students, a lot of people, they get to know themselves uh, during their adolescence. Uh, that's when they realize who they are as a person, uh, the hormones, they start flowing and they change the system. Uh, that is uh, the major, a lot of people realize then. But, you know, many people are late bloomers and late bloomers, the the aspect that makes them unique is uh, when they bloom, then they notice the changes and they have a, a considerable change in life. They can that can happen later, uh, it, it much later than others also, and it doesn't uh, really matter what is the age that you change, as long as you notice the change, accept the change, and it's good that you feel about it. A phrase is coming to my mind which says, "Better late than never." 
rather than it's never it is okay even at this age if i would like to explore my potential in fact it's, so it's okay like at any age for my okay. own self right if i would like to use those scientific tools to know more about myself so it is always better late than never yes uh, there have been countless cases when people have been doing a job for 20 years 30 years 20 years yes. and yes. 25 years and then they changed the field and then they became the leaders of that field True. you know uh, excellence after that time and not only not, not only uh, you know mediocre people moderate people but you not know, awesome people oprah winfrey comes to mind this uh, uh, henry ford comes to mind apj abdul kalam comes to mind these people they have been late bloomers in life and uh, it didn't matter didn't matter at all so identifying these career options what is important two things Okay, two things are important for identifying good career options. One is knowing yourself, and your hobbies, skills, values, interests. Other is the knowing the careers and the outlooks, the tasks, roles, responsibilities of those careers. What those are about. You know, knowledge is winning half the battle. So if we know these things, that's good for us, and it's much more closer to you know what we want to do in our life. But 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 you know what is the irony is irony is one. we do not pay attention to know our own self mm. so the the field which is marked in green is gone into gray area okay the field which is marked in with the red which is a career my knowledge domain which is pretty limited so do not mm. have much wider look towards the various careers options yeah i mean so uh, it results into a lot of mediocrity with results into lot of depression and anxiety and stress during the career progression phase of people yeah right. i don't want to like uh, you know say, say this outright but you know social media and uh, our low attention spans they have caused us to focus less on our inner 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 self and we are more you know fascinated by the outside world by the shininess of it by the phones by the gadgets and uh, sometimes we may forget to look uh, that inner being within self uh, that guides us uh, because we or there are everywhere performance is measured you know but potential measuring measuring your potential that's difficult and uh, it requires uh, you to get in touch uh, with the subconscious to know what the limits of yourself are and moreover this slide stands true for all the fields it is not limited to only humanities right yeah. you go to any career option this is the golden principle behind it this is the founded foundation this is the principle so knowing yourself what is that about it's about interests values abilities uh, i think everyone he knows about these terms and uh, what's interesting is knowing yourself question is in itself so comprised of several other questions these questions so knowing how i make decisions knowing about myself my options and thinking about the decision making sometimes uh, we know all the options we know all the you know exits and entrances but we still don't take the correct option the correct answer uh, because our way of thinking is different it's uh, it's not conventional or got this thing. pyramid is something that i would recommend in our in our session that we recommend to every student to paste it on their wall yeah knowing about what a wonderful idea about my options that what are the options available to me yeah the just look at this every time difficult point is people are not even aware of the options available to them right which is i i, I say is the dearth of knowledge knowing how i make decisions Very because the 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 question knowing yourself is is not really a question. It's a process. Uh, it's a process of continuing to know yourself. And you can never you know yourself fully. You can never know your potential fully. You can all you were always increasing in potential, and uh, that's why you need to do and ask these questions over and over. What a wonderful thing! To say. This itself, you, one one can talk on one can talk about this pyramid. for an hours knowing how i make decision there are so many factors which forces a child or a adult to make a decision yeah the entire subject of philosophy is uh, based on this 
uh, why to take a decision in a certain manner why uh, things are the way they are so ambeshwari has raised her hand so mm-hmm. ambeshwari just uh, hang on to your doubt last 5 minutes is all for you okay so next we come to uh, other things that you can do to you know develop those traits and skill the hobbies free time uh, whatever we spend time in um developing hobbies is always nice we we don't know what the skill can be i mean you can do anything you can uh, paint toy soldiers you can uh, you know uh, not do painting but listen to music or you know some sort of hobby basically not spending ideal time not spending time sleeping or not spending time doing nothing but doing some sort of activity because the thing is that later in life when these activities come into picture we don't know case in point uh, steve jobs so during uh, graduate during steve jobs uh, under graduation he picked calligraphy calligraphy as a subject in his uh, in his college what is calligraphy it is the drawing of the letters and uh, where did he use it he used it many many years later when he developed the mac computer and the mac computer had one good thing in it been a very unique thing it had a graphical system before that you know things were there in as a codes me aate the there were lines of code that used to type after steve jobs and the mac they made the graphical user interface the mouse and the graphics that you see and they made the fonts so they made the fonts for the first time you could see different types of uh, fonts there and it was all because he took that class of calligraphy during all those years ago. so you don't know what skill will come in handy when that is the beauty of all these things vikram there is a disclaimer that we have not been paid by apple to vouch <laughs> oh yes uh, this, we have not been paid by apple apple has nothing to do with this it's just a use case example yes uh, it's a perfect example actually so uh, other than that uh, you know always doing co curricular activities internships uh you know volunteer activities uh is always nice and reading about topics reading about gaining knowledge uh, you know either watching videos you know reading books hearing audio books may way of imbibing knowledge can be different but the idea is that you imbibe knowledge about topics uh i was i was a avid reader of uh, uh, i was right i i don't do it i, I used to read history i used to read uh, this sociology civics uh, and i used to listen to these audio lecture series that they used to tell entire uh, roman history the entire british history uh, entire european history and get used to uh, really capture my imagination for hours and hours uh, it was just a wonderful experience so uh, highly recommend that it develops your morals as a person you get to see what humans have been uh what they will be uh, what we are now and uh, it just uh, strengthens our core uh, to become better okay so okay so this is a clip this is from a college uh, in us uh what why we shared this clip was now the nep update that has come to the uh uh Uh, that nep update that has come to the uh, system uh, that has caused the multidisciplinary boom in the education of india so that's why uh, just see this clip see this clip. everyone says go to college get a job but what if you want more out of life than just a job what if you want meaning purpose and fulfillment in your work your relationships and every other area of life What kind of education would you need for that kind of life? Today, the typical college experience is a narrow path. Pick a major, focus your studies on one specific field or profession, and at the end, you're ready for that one field or profession. At Hillsdale, we offer a different kind of education, a classical liberal arts education. Studying the liberal arts creates a foundation for a liberated life, a life that's free and able to be lived well. We do this at Hillsdale through a core curriculum designed to pursue what is good, true, and beautiful. 
Every student at Hillsdale spends their first two years together, immersed in this core curriculum, made up of the humanities, the social sciences, and the natural sciences. You'll still choose a major, but because of this core curriculum, that major will be built on a deep understanding of the nature of the world and the nature of humanity. Practically, you'll learn to think deeply and critically, to solve complex problems, and to write and speak effectively. Skills that are invaluable in any job and in every area of life. Ultimately, a classical liberal arts education at Hillsdale means you won't just be ready for a job or career, you'll be ready for a good life. Everyone's that's uh, what humanities is all about. Now let's come to the fact, what are the traits uh, common in all of these humanities, social sciences, uh, and uh, these fine arts? What are the traits common uh, within all these fields? Why do, they, why do we call them humanities? First and foremost is the understanding and expression of ideas, okay? the uh, humanities, why it is rich, it is rich because uh, it's not binary, it's not zero or one. It's point one, uh, point two, point three, point three, 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 point three, 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 three. So the idea is that there are multiple answers to every question and it can be that there could be a multivariate equation uh, for e each one of these fantastic questions. Uh, what is the purpose of life? Uh, why do we live? Uh, what is the, you know, duty of one man to another fellow man. These kind of questions, they are subjective in nature. They depend on person to person and that's why they have multiple answers. So the idea is that analytical thinking, uh, idea of writing and speaking these terms, uh, learning to synthesize uh, new ideas and the research behind all the uh, all these plethora of information. You would see the majority of the question style would uh, is based on the uh, five W's theory, which is why, when, what, where, who, right? That gives you the detailed explanation about the subject. Yeah. So these are the common things that are there in uh, all these humanity. Now let's come to the uh, the career avenues that are there, the fields. Uh, the courses that are out there for humanities. First, let's take uh, these English language, literature, uh, foreign language history and all these things. So, uh, you know, if you do it in literature, uh, English literature and all these aspects, then uh, uh, journalism, uh, I'm sorry, ju journalism, uh, novelist, novelist uh, social media uh, analysts, writers, web content developers, these are the new hot areas of uh, these aspects. Uh, foreign languages has another huge depth to it. You get to do international business, import exports, uh, whether you want to go into the UN, uh, you know, serve the humanity that way, humanities and humanities. So uh, these are the interesting aspects, uh, the interesting job profiles that are there. Just wanted you to see. Uh, we won't uh, delve into details about them. If you want to be interested in them, uh, you can certainly Google these areas. There is a website uh, I suggest that you take. It's called O-N-E-T, o -N -E -T, and uh, it's the most detailed uh, you know, list of uh, career information you can get. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome and uh, highly suggest you do that. And the very important platform which uh, we will be unveiling shortly, right? Yeah. A platform which is specially meant for you to tackle and handle such kind of queries wherein you get a chance to meet and talk to the experts, the counselors, the psychologists. Not, not only that, but get to know your strengths, weaknesses, get yes. to know how you match with the careers, get to know where you lack in certain careers and if you want to still do those careers have a developmental plan get so, uh, learn some videos uh, uh, platform is all about stay tuned with us so we'll be sharing that as well oh yeah that's coming up ahead next uh, the history philosophy and religious studies so 
history it's about uh, you know it has always history has always had multiple uh, you know avenues to extend upon whether it be you know uh, public policy making it has to do the history of the certain uh, geographical location all those aspects you can always you know go uh, be a consultant to the government or any of these things archivist you can be uh, a proper professor philosophy is completely now philosophy is uh, uh, it, it doesn't have any bar you can uh, be a physicist and study philosophy you can it's a, it's a universal subject matter in fact philosophy is said to be uh, the mother of all sciences uh, because all sciences have more or less come from humanities right wherein we were talking about the myth during the beginning of our presentation that there is a dearth of careers right hmm. so there is actually not a dearth of career there is knowledge gap which is there to which which is required to get boost up hmm. right so we should have the entire road map with us to know more about each major each subject and the wider options and the most important your own fitment for this are you meant for this about your aptitude your personality your interest are you is, is your interest personality com compatible with this major humanities so that is what is required to be know yes religious studies is more about the fact uh, if you are interested in the morals uh, why there are morals Uh, uh, fellow man being good to other fellow man, those aspects. If you are interested in that, those religious studies are important. Okay. Oh. Yes. So economics. Now we'll come to the social science. Okay. So uh, economics. It's all about the financial analysts, bankers, auditors, accountants. Investment. Yes. Job. Uh, sorry. Uh, geography and planning. Geography and planning. It's uh, cartography, uh, geology, uh, and uh, you know, as you can see, there are so many careers that you can see you didn't know directly connected to geography. And and Bikram, I can bet on this. If if we there are roughly around sixty odd participants, those who are watching us live, ask this question to your own self in economics. Which all career options are we aware of? So, if you see the most popular one is one is the tax advisor, one is the auditor, one is the real estate, one is the market research, one is insurance and banking. There is option available for fund manager, economic forecaster, demographer, public finance, management consulting, labor union. So, so because of Since we need to uh, touch upon many aspects, so we have not listed all. Other than this, there are lot many other options which is also available in this. So uh, let's move on further. Okay, sociology, anthropology, political science, psychology. So psychology will begin first because uh, see, uh, okay. so uh, psychology it not only to do with clinical psychology career counseling also to do with industrial organizational psychology the hrs of uh, coca cola pepsi there you know there are many of them are psychologists because they have to run a big organization and knowledge. hr is it, it requires industrial organization of knowledge uh sociology it's into you know public administration and those jobs related to that uh policy analyst all these complex jobs uh, and these are big powerful jobs uh, you are uh, essentially editing the policies of your country and uh, that's uh, in itself very powerful political science uh, that is the uh, bed hot ground of uh, all these uh, polit politicians that uh, for about students as well the political yes. science pol science is the <laughs> yes Art major, exactly. Many of our, you know, politicians have done politics. That's uh, it's not a, it's not a coincidence that that, that has happened. And trust and, is very lucrative as well. Yeah, there are many other fields that there are there. 
so now we come to design and the fine arts uh, so design and fine arts design is in fact a very awesome uh, it goes hand in hand with the engineering and the sciences because what you're doing you are uh, designing something and uh, that's where you come into picture so product designers uh, uh, these uh, industrial designer visual industrial designer yeah. design. ui ux designer exactly. graphic designers web designers photographers uh, then going to, going into fine arts of it uh, you know um, jewelry design fine arts painting sculpting all these aspects uh, they are there right so we are getting some information in the chat into the creator okay so i'm just going to type it here on it okay this is the website you when you google it you'll find it okay okay so next uh, let's move on to interdisciplinary study what is this about okay this is about mixture of all these subjects look in epistemology epist uh, sorry. yeah uh, in you know study of all these subjects there is no fine line between uh, you know economics and uh, you know uh, let's say uh, whatever so sociology they are you know somehow they overlap some uh, topics are overlapped in economics some topics are overlapped in history some topics are overlapped in geography and that's why you know they are social sciences and uh, what we did here what they did here was that uh, starting to study you know these uh, american cultures african cultures what they have been what is their economy has been like uh, what their culture has been like what their society has been like all these uh, john these are there these are acha these are the global studies and european studies that we have taken as example and moreover see a uh, very very few people they move into this which is called disability studies yeah global studies yeah but yes and the another bright aspect of this because because like if you like uh, helping people if you like helping people pretty less competition is pretty less the reason because awareness is pretty less yeah i mean uh, if you like helping people and uh, you know uh, you like studying humanities you know this could be one of the things that you uh, end up doing social working disability studies whatever uh, so these are all like uh, nearby subjects are you getting what we are trying to say sure. trying to say that don't only study one subject that would be trying to say so next is these urban studies law and gender studies so gender studies has gained importance uh, in the past few years and rightly so because uh, you know men women they need to have the equality uh, the laws need to be equal the culture needs to respect that and uh, that's what that is about uh, law and social sciences they social thought that's about justice and uh, what some why something is right i mean should the should the country have the right to take someone's life should uh, all these very very complex topics uh, very subjective uh, but they have uh, objectivity built into them when you know diatribes are written when theses are written when uh, you know case studies are studied uh, what happened uh, why this should be the way it should be urban studies uh, that's into the zonal planning uh, we know that 60% of our Uh, world population lives in cities, and uh, city planning is a very very big part. Uh, some cities. It's a, it's a very big post, you know, the the urban studies. Those who does all the, such kind of studies, so actually pretty responsible position. They, my they, my they mother. And they. My mother has uh, done her PhD in regional master planning, so uh, it's uh, it, she always says it's very, and I agree with. so so very why important. are people still confused like uh, we told you so many of these careers right and uh, you you got to understand some of them uh, a lot of you have questions there are so many questions and uh, we will answer those questions later on so why are people still confused about these aspects that shall i take humanity shall i ask my kids to uh... take humanities you know yeah. so so do you want to know the reason like guys if you're interested to do know about these facts uh, like uh, how i can get into this careers how 
uh, why are people still confused about them what are the hot careers uh, just type yes in the chat box and uh, we'll just know that uh, you know you guys are listening and uh, you guys are enjoying this uh, webinar and seminar uh, because now to hear opinion so now we'll be sharing the few uh, few magical things that yeah. one each one should have yeah. if they are interested to unveil more about themselves and to the career options so this is a survey that uh, happened uh, some time back and uh, that 80% that we were saying so this survey was conducted on 10000 people of india students and uh, you know 70% of them uh, only knew seven career options so this is astounding this is a fact uh, the previous slide had uh, you know, 30, 20 30 careers just listed on one slide so why is that happening and uh, this is the state that we are in what this does is this creates a sort of bhed chal a sort of sheep sheep running because you know people this kind of unawareness creates lot of competition in the market yeah lot of unnecessary competition un 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 unemployment in the market now if you see the foundation of the economy is based on the knowledge and the awareness so when this shocking survey was done on more than 10000 students 70% students were aware of only these seven listed career options which means i would like to become an engineer i would like to do a btech i would like to do mbbs i will go for mba i will do a designing course i will do llb rest all career options goes into vain which has resulted into a lot of unemployment I mean, there is a so, so, like take an example, like let's say this year people say that healthcare jobs are awesome because uh, like more people are being employed because of COVID. So let's do healthcare. Let's pick healthcare as uh, our major. Uh, let's do the medical stream and uh, pick our careers, right? And that uh, what's going to happen is that more and more people are going to just follow each other and pick. healthcare medical more and more people are going to do that what's going to happen in the end is that uh, uh, there are going to be too many nurses or there are going to be more you know you know medical staff than there is actually requirement of that is supply and demand and uh, when that happens uh, you don't get uh, many people don't get a job they have to rework themselves reget themselves reskill so the idea is that if you can know your own strengths and weaknesses you can have other avenues that you can do okay for that now we come the core to the, the core pillars yeah so uh what was like core pillars core pillars of the mind uh how you think uh what are the parameters uh that govern your overall thinking style pattern personality aptitude your interest your motivations these are the aspect that you know we use each other to measure uh, each other's abilities traits and talents the idea is that uh, once you know yourself uh, a, this concept of ikigai has always been here with vidim pandits uh, just going to reiterate it again uh, if you like things uh, if if you like things what you do like if, if, you, if you like doing certain things and if you're good at them and uh, those things are something that are needed by the world and the world is ready to pay for it well then that all comes up to become purpose of life purpose of life in what in in terms of your career in terms of uh, gaining happiness satisfaction in one's life you know uh, there is if you have two two of these aspects or uh, you know three of these aspects even you know you can have some sort of satisfaction but not complete satisfaction not complete happiness okay in that order to have a very basic understanding of this uh, picture let's take an example of the upper circle which is marked in orange color what you love doing okay and then the leftmost circle which is marked in blue color what you are good at so what you love doing and what you are good at if you do a synchronization in this you will get the passion your passion and then if you synchronize what you can be paid for 
and what you are good at for example if i am good at designing designing maybe the ui ux designing mm. there are a lot of job opportunities so if you sing then that would become your profession yes. because and if you are into a profession which is your passion that will become your purpose so very very important this picture is if you pay little attention to understand though it is a self explanatory we have tried and explain you one passion and profession amalgam that how how it works actually yeah. which brings in delightfulness and the fulfillness agree with that completely that very well put so now let's come to brain pundits and how we help you guys uh, bringing that ikigai to you getting to know your ikigai getting to know your strengths and uh, getting to know your abilities so we help uh, explore and discover uh, your thinking process your learning ability your life's purpose overall happiness prospects all these things we help you with uh, we are india's most detailed career test uh, we measure over 700 data points and then we tell you yourself on 60 different parameters Uh, we highlight your top twenty careers out of seventy-two. So our competitors, uh, they measure only. They tell you only twenty careers, top twenty, uh, top five careers out of twenty. And we tell you your top seventy-two careers, like top twenty careers out of seventy-two. Careers. So we have the the whole plethora of careers we have taken. We've designed a complex algorithm <clears throat> that goes into huge detail. Uh, while you know it goes into your personality. goes into your aptitude your interest your motivation <coughs> and then it helps you decide what career college uh, major or you know bachelor or masters you should do not only that that we help you uh, you know diagnose or judge who you are but we also then help you develop yourself so based on the scores uh, you get to see videos uh, and articles from you know experts from youtube uh, experts from around the world of that subject matter and get to know what it is that you are lacking and how you can develop it and that is the start of the you know journey towards self development towards actualization of your goals if you want to you know aspire to be a civil servant if you aspire to be a historian if you aspire to be a clinical psychologist well you know you got to know where you are lacking and what you need to improve so that uh, you can you know get a better chance of doing all that so how many of you uh, want to know uh, about yourself and this career landscape that we have uh, you know spent the past 5 years you know doing uh, researching developing and uh, it's just a fantastic to like like Uh, how many of you uh, are wanting to go just type yes in the chat bot chat box uh, tell us you want to know yourself tell us you want to know your career landscapes tell us your inquisitive tell us uh, that uh, you want to understand life from a perspective that you have not seen before one thing more that uh, while while typing yes or no the the thing that we are going to share with you all is not only limited to humanities and we were talking about better late than never right so uh, every time is the right time to explore your own self and to find out various other options available because one should not be into that domain one should not be into that 70% where the domain knowledge the options are not aware to you rightly said so let me tell you uh, what uh, the commercials are for this product so uh, what all you get uh, so firstly you get a psychometric test uh, that tells you yourself on 700 you know data points 60 qualities top 20 careers and uh, you also get uh, you know a, a whatsapp group an exclusive group in which uh, uh, you know we send out updates to you regarding the latest and you know uh, the latest news the latest updates that are happening the latest exams that are going on the latest uh, you know uh, knowledge news about uh, various careers just to keep you updated thirdly there is a closed facebook community that is there with us that uh, you know 
helps you interact with like-minded people. Like uh, I have had this uh, so many times that the people who you know do the uh, competition ki tayari, they took it together, then they have higher chances of uh, success. And if you can find someone who you know is like you or has your same aspirations, goals, or lives nearby, well, that's that's so so much great. And finally, uh, we have an FAQ session uh, with me and Gaurav for uh, you know these hourly sessions that happen every week. Uh, we answer your questions, we answer your doubts, complex topics, your subjective, uh, you know, your particular problems that are there related to careers, related to uh, what you should do in life. So we, um, we give you all these for us. This is the platform we were mentioning wherein you can connect up with the various counselors and psychologists and we will also be a part of those sessions wherein you get to meet a lot of industry experts to answer your doubts and give clarifications and uh, for today uh, so for this session uh, we are having this entire 15000 uh, rupee thing for 14.99 and uh, the link uh, will be shared uh, sakshi you can share the link of the test uh, this is the arts and career compatibility test that we have out there it highlights your top 20 careers and uh, it tells you yourself on your aptitude, your interest, personality, uh, your motivations, IQ. Uh, so that's uh, what the course was, uh, the seminar was all about today. Uh, we hope that, uh, you know, uh, some of you who are interested in understanding yourself on all these parameters, go to the website www.brainfunders.com. Have a look at our products, have a look at other products. If you feel that you are still confused, you are a whole lot of confused. Then there is a test called the mega test, mega career test that tells you all the 72 career options and what your scoring is that for there. And so, from last um, from last one hour, we are also live on YouTube. So in case if you have missed out any of the portion of this webinar, right? So you can go to our channel Brain Pundits on YouTube. You can view this entire session once again. And if yeah. you like it, please do subscribe and like the session. Yes, we encourage you to watch this session over again. Share the video with your friends, uh, with the colleagues, uh, with the you know people who you think can benefit from this. You know, because in the end, it's all about helping people. Uh, we are doing this uh, because uh, it, it's our passion, it's our mission. We want to help the students. Uh, so we have so we have also shared the link. So in, uh, in if anyone is looking forward to join us in this journey. Please do click this link and get the best of the best offers. Yeah. So now let's begin uh, for the question answering session. Uh, please uh, answer, uh, ask your questions now and uh, we'll begin to answer uh, most of them. Uh, uh, if time, uh, whatever time, five, 10 minutes we have. So if you have any questions, you can write it in the chat now. So. Guys, it's just a thing that uh, there was too much chat and uh, if you can restate your question, it would be very nice. Uh, we can answer them uh, very, very quickly. And, uh, very good. Overall, a nice session today. Huh? Uh, lots of people that came us, uh, lots of good questions. Uh, what do you think? Guys? Absolutely, yes. And if anyone has any doubt or any question that you may wish to ask, so you can write into the chat box will try and answer the question whatever time allows us so the window is open friends and last skill required in liberal arts major last skill required in liberal arts major i don't understand the question okay, arihan can you please reframe the question as yes. probably we are not able to understand so gaurav here asked me privately what all does it take to become a historian I mean, what all things are required? Okay. So first of all, uh, uh, Gaurav here, a wonderful question. I also wanted to be a historian at one point of time. It's uh, firstly, you have to know that there is no limit to the knowledge that you are gaining. History is very much linked with geography because during the ancient times, the cities that were being established were established at the riverbanks. And that's how these things are linked. And uh, so the, you will get to understand history from geographical perspective, from social, uh, sociological perspective, from economic perspective, religious perspective, 
all these perspectives are into picture so what it takes it takes an open mindset uh, it takes uh, good reading skills uh, you uh, the problem with history is that uh, you know the thesis the books that they are they are the longest longest books uh, fattest books you will find will be history books so uh, uh, you will need to have a good reading speed and uh, you need to develop the skill of reading and the love for it okay so uh, any other question i believe we i can just go back to the previous questions and uh, also from there i guess i'm searching and trying to figure it out just finding them my son is doing bsc in psychology studying in arts well stream he wants to pursue his career as clinical psychologist okay so mahesh kadam asked me to ask this question okay so that's a good question uh psychology is a field i'll be you know honest it's a field dominated by majorly women okay so 80% psychologists on average are female okay that's what uh, the field is about okay now you need in order to be a good psychologist you don't need to be an extrovert or an introvert uh, none of these things don't matter what matters is uh you know one how whether you can uh, understand objectively the problems of another person you know uh, not judging them you know perceiving their problems not judging the problems but perceiving their problems and the third aspect is that empathizing empathizing with the other person their problems their situations all these aspects that are there clinical psychology is going to have uh, is uh, you know becoming more and more prevalent uh, cbsc has said we need counselors they have mandated counselors in each of the school so new jobs are opening up uh, in these areas of, of the of these of this uh, you know kind then uh, the come in the hr domain uh, clinical psychologists they come into picture sometimes when dealing with stress of uh, you know employees and empl uh, of other people then Uh, there are new uh, companies that are being opened up that are offering this online counseling okay so the online counseling model is that uh, you talk to someone through the internet and uh, you better answer. have all your questions answered yeah so uh, okay so i hope uh, you guys had fun and uh, so I, if uh, any of you guys have uh, any would like our team to get in touch with you if you have any other uh, you know our team to get in touch with you our um, you know sales team to get in touch with you explain you the product explain you what it is you're buying then uh, you know uh, leave us your number and name uh, in the chat and uh, we will be sure to get back to you and uh, about that uh, or you can you know leave it on the email that gorav has mentioned Uh, so dr anuvarma is asking please throw light on career options in public administration okay public administration is a, a pandora's box uh, very wide <laughs> you can take all aspects you can take the aspect of economics uh, wherein uh, let's say you are giving subsidies to uh, the uh, you know economically weaker section of the people to you know empower them so uh one question would be how would you give the subsidies would you give the subsidies uh you know give them in no frills account that is happening today or you used to earlier did they used to give the uh cash or the money up front so that that what happened was uh a, a lot of uh, uh, what do you call uh, corruption was happening and because then the government now changed it to zero frills account so it goes directly into your account so these policies then the immigration policy what should be it so i mean these are very controversial topics i mean uh, so we need to move into any policy making uh, uh, any policy making i mean policy even if you can or a designation hmm? so and like uh, whether but, whether markets should have upper price limit lower price limit on you know commodities uh, how well should the government regulate uh, let's say airport or uh, you know luxury tax all these aspects and moreover uh, answer to dr anu verma's uh, uh, question uh, i mm -hmm. would recommend you to please visit our website uh, brainpandis.com therein you would find a upsc compatibility test 
right? So that would give you a lot of insights on the lot of career options on public domain, public administration. Yeah, if you have any doubts, guys, you can just go to brainpandit.com, and there are tons of tons of tests. There are a lot of free tests also. You can find out your IQ for free. Uh, you can find out, you know, how artistic you are for free. Uh, there are these are these some of these free tests, and there are these career paid tests. So just go to brainpandit.com, have a look at all these careers. Uh, that's all we had time for today. Uh, thank you, Gaurav Sareja, for joining me. Thank you, all the participants. And any uh, feedback, any feedback, friends, please do write to us at info at brainpandits.com. That would help us to shape it better in forthcoming sessions. Yes, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you all had fun today. Uh, explore the power within, guys. With this, next time. stay safe, stay healthy, keep learning, and enjoy life. Bye, guys.